Hello guys, welcome back to the Travel Tips and in this video I am going to talk about how to fix WWE 2K22 is having slow motion issue and how we can fix this up. So let's dive into the solution and if you are for the first time to our channel then don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. So let's move to the workarounds. So the first one is all about what you have to do is you just have to run the game on dedicated graphics card so to do this you just have to follow the instruction that you know you have to run it on this also in order to just have to go over here okay first thing you just have to make sure if you're having a dual card graphics card you have to change the card into nvidia so in order to make sure it you just have to click over here and navigate to device manager from here on device manager you have to navigate to display adapters and as you can see i'm having only nvidia but in some cases for some of users will be having two cards so you just have to change it up okay or you have to right click and there will be an option called enable so you just have to enable the card that is what you have to do and that is the first step and also make sure that your drivers are up to date which is also quite important. search automatically for drivers and make sure they are up to date okay so this is the first step and next is all about you have to run the game on dedicated graphics card so to do this you just have to follow the instruction you have to go over here and you have to search for graphics setting now from here as you can see i have already added two games crab game and forza horizon 5 so in the same way you have to go over here on the browse which will take you to the where the game is installed and you have to select the application .ex, the particular file of wwe2k22 where the game is installed will be having the uh, location here once you add the game it will be available here now what you have to do is you just have to click over here on the wwe2k22 and you will be having options for both the same as you can see so you have to select the respective one and change this to high performance if it is into let windows decide or power saying you have to change this to high performance and once it is done you just have to close this and you have to try to play the game on steam and most probably this has to be worked and in some cases it won't work because of some difficulties in that case we have to move to the next one next one is all about you have to turn off vsync in nvidia control panel so to do this you just have to follow the instruction you have to right click then you just have to go over here in the show more options and there is an option called nvidia control panel just tap click on it now from here you just have to wait for a short period of seconds then you just have to go to over here manage 3d setting right now you just have to select program settings now what you have to do is over here there is an option called uh, you just have to click on add there is an option called add option where you can add the respective one okay so here i have already added the forza horizon 5 we can do the same and here you just have to add the game once you are done with the game one the next is all about you have to go over here and you just have to turn off okay scroll down and you have to turn off vsync okay so as you can see if you scroll down you can see vertical sync as you can see this has been set and use global setting so you just have to change this to off okay once it is off you have to try to launch the game and if it's not working then i would suggest you to do one more parallel solution which you have to try out that is all about increasing fps by nvidia control panel so same way you have to open your nvidia control panel navigate to manage 3d setting go over here in the program setting now from here what you have to do is you will be having an option called if you scroll down you can see there is an option called maximum frame rate okay now as you can see this being turn it off so if you click on this one you will be having the options use global setting off off on options are there so what you have to do is you just have to change this one you can change this one make this on and you can change this one like this so you can set it around 100 or something okay, keep it on 100 or something whatever it is you can do accordingly and once it is done you just have to go for ok and you have to apply it and try to play the game and most probably what you have to do is the issue has to be fixed even after trying these workarounds if you are still persisting with the issue the next is all about you have to launch the game and you have to press alt plus enter enter on your keyboard and you have to see whether you are able to fix and still you are done with the issue you have done with all the workarounds and you are having the issue the next is all about you have to update your graphics card manually so i'll be giving both the link in the description for nvidia as well as for amd drivers 
I'll be giving sorry I'll be giving both the things for Nvidia and also for uh, this one and what you have to do is you just have to uh, update it manually by giving the instructions over here and details over here you can do by yourself and you have to see and these are the workaround which you have to try out when you are having slow motion issue on WWE 2K22 and also you can refer our website get throw tips for many more topics and I'll be providing all the articles over here you can refer all these things for workarounds for games Android iPhones and iPads social media Windows etc so that's what it's all about it and I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. This is Shahin signing off from Get Your Tips. Peace out. Bye.